What is going on, everybody? How my name is Hat here, bringing you a best of three VGC battle against my good buddy, dude. It's Kudo. We're both seasoned single players. Uh, I've been playing all the way back since third gen competitively, uh, but we've both decided to dip into VGC and uh, decided to have a a best of three series. So this is game one of that series. Game two will be up tomorrow, uh, and we'll go from there. Now, both of these teams are actually QR code teams, uh, just that we were messing around with. I decided to grab Sajin Park's uh, team that he went with that I've been using quite a bit, and man, is it a fun team. Uh, the team Kudo went with is more of a sand team built around Sand Force Alolan Dug Trio. Um, so I wasn't really sure what Alolan Dug Trio is going to do. Uh, so I kind of protected with Muck uh, to scout, and then I figured Gastron is really going to be able to take anything in there because uh, Slug Boy is going to be a Slug Boy. Uh, I just fire off a Scald in the, uh, the the sand. However, you know, with the boost, it doesn't do as much as I would like it to do. And then we also find out that Gigalith here is weakness policy, uh, which theoretically could be problematic uh, because Gigalith is pretty defensive. So. With the Protect on Doug Trio, I know that it's not banded or choiced in any way, uh, but I'm not really sure what it is. And the knockoff there was just a complete misclick. I'm not sure if I didn't see the weakness policy when I was playing uh, or what that instance was, but that was essentially a waste because the item was already used up. And then I just called into Doug Trio, um, hoping to get a burn with Scald shenanigans, uh, but he protected. So not necessarily the best turn. I'm going to protect again with Gastrodon. I want to take some of that sand away. And I'm not really sure what his plan is. He's going to wide guard uh, in case I have a spread move like Surf. Uh, but I'm just going to Shadow Sneak because I expected actually that um, I'm, Alolan Muck is going to die. Um, the Earthquake comes out. And it's nice to know that wide guard actually protects um, the Gigalith from that Earthquake as well. Uh, Muck goes down, so it's a decent strategy he's got going on there. Uh, powering up the Doug Trio, protecting, and just getting some heavy damage off. I'm going to go into Cartana, though, just because Cartana can threaten out both of these uh, between Sacred Sword, Leaf Blade, and Smart Strike. And I also have a Sash intact. Uh, but he's going to switch out, keeping and prioritizing keeping Doug Trio healthy into an Arcanine that also gets the Intimidate on Cartana, which is good. And then he pulls this double switch here, and he reveals Celesteela which I'm kind of in trouble because Celesteela is not easy to take down uh, with this team. And uh, the Smart Strike, as you can see, does almost nothing, especially at minus one. The, uh, the Scald in Arcanine wasn't too hard of a play, uh, just being that everything he had on the field was weak to uh, water-type attacks. We do, though, see that his Arcanine is Citrus Berry, uh, so that at least gives us a little bit of insight on the item on that, that it's not the 50% uh, uh, berry, the, the big citrus. So I want to see what he's going to do. And he, I've, so I protect with Cartana while I still have my Sash intact. Uh, Arcanine is going to protect as well. But here's the big thing. He goes for Flamethrower. So I, I see right away that the Celesteela is more offensive than anything else because uh, I was actually expecting a Leech Seed. Uh, coming into something else, but uh, even though he's got the leftovers, it's clear that it's more of an offensive Celesteela, which is still problematic, um, still minus one. I'm hoping I can get some kind of luck going that I can get a beast boost to at least get back to neutral, but the flamethrower comes out as well, which is a shock that it is not a physical Arcanine, but it is a special Arcanine uh, just because the team itself is so physically based. And then he shows Giga Drain which puts me in a very high-powered pressure situation. I did not expect to Giga Drain at all. Gastrodon is a huge, huge piece of this team. And now he's got a plus special defense, Celesteela, with what I know now of Flamethrower and Giga Drain. So I go into Porygon Z, and he reveals Helping Hand on Arcanine. So I can tell that this Arcanine is very different than the standard Arcanine that you tend to see in VGC. Uh, which is kind of nice and refreshing. I figured I'd go for tri attack, just being that I need to be able to hit everything. Uh, so I figured stab and then having the 10% per status, it might help me out. But with this flash cannon, uh, you can see it's really not going to matter. Uh, he, 
Kudo makes the smart play and he goes into Gigalith to get the sand back up just so it starts whittling away at Porygon Z uh, because that passive damage is going to be very important. I'm Scarfed. He does not know that yet. But with the Scarf, it's essentially going to lock me into Tri-Attack. I can't go for Ice Beam or anything like that. Uh, and I'm just going to be taking damage as he double protects there. Which, you gotta you got to play to win. So there's, there's no... Uh, no harm in that whatsoever. Ooh. But I can see right away that I'm in a bit of a hole. He does get the double protect off on Gigalith. It wasn't necessary, but that essentially seals the game unless I get a freeze right here, uh, which I do not. The Sacred Sword goes in. Uh, Kartana essentially can't do anything to the Celesteela, and the Flash Cannon into Porygon Z is going to essentially decimate it. Uh, that's a guaranteed KO. So I have a 1 HP Kartana left against a Celesteela that I can't do anything to, plus a Arcanine. Or no, I killed the Arcanine, but against then a, uh, a Gigalith. No, I didn't kill the Arcanine, but I'm just going to run. We're going to go, and um, I didn't kill the Doug Trio. So can I bounce back for game two? That's going to be the important part. Uh, it's the whole thing of best of three is you can learn as you go, and you can take information with you. So check back tomorrow and we'll be back.